the wheel. Let's see. Okay. Welcome to the first free for all all ox. Winner takes home DLC of his or her choice. We have Malevich on the Ox again. ASD. Very, very strong player. One of the strongest players in his own right. On Ox. Manavant. Benevolent. Oyerson. Hoplio. Sapphire. Rotambar. And Mertasas LU. Oh my god, this will be so dumb. <laughs> May the best ox win indeed. Let's take a look at all the spawns. So Malevich has only has open lore stone. Malevich has such a weird spawn again. Okay, but at least he has double farm. So that's nice. Um nearby is Paplio, the blue ox, who has insane spawn because he has open farm. But yeah, two foxes occupying shipwreck, plus a fox burrow nearby, two fox burrows nearby in fact, is not ideal as well. But at least he has two stones in his first ring, so his spawn is way better. Way, way better. Let's take a look at ASD. ASD has open farm as well, so that's a nice spawn already for ASD. He has second food here, occupied by two foxes. And he will just clear these after building the farm. Actually decent spawn. I want to say that. Also, we have iron dwarves here. Are there any other dwarves? We got Yurtnar, elves, Yurtnar. So these are the only dwarves and he is not that far away from these dwarves. So he has a good, good spawn as well, ASD. Let's take a look at Benevolent. Open food and open stone. Decent spawn, but he is surrounded by boxes left and right. Not that good of a spawn, but it's still, it's still decent. It's still decent. Let's take a look at Rotambar. Um, he has one of the better spawns. Only wolves occupying the tiles. He has a farm tile here. He has a fish tile here, he will have three food tiles. Very nice spawn for Malevich, uh, for Rotambar, excuse me. Next is Mertar Saslu. I think he has one of the worst spawns. He only has one food tile and that's a fish tile. Plus forest. Yeah, red is not gonna win this FFA. Never. And last but not least, we got Seth and Feuerson. Seth, open double food tile for some reason building a woodcutter lodge there. Oh, because, because she doesn't have the space, because she's not taken the runestone. But he's very nearby to these giants, so she could go for the giants later on. And she has lots of space in the back as well, like deer tile here. As well as a forest here. Death spawn is amazing. But she's super far away from these dwarves. Super far away from these dwarves. And yeah, Feuerson. Having open food. Having open lore. Will have a second and a third food source here. As a nice spawn as well. Hi Chris. Hey Lars, first time joining the stream, been watching your vids, trying to play Northcard better. Well, welcome to the stream, Void. Glad to have you here. Welcome, welcome. I hope you'll be able to enjoy the show. So, you uh, actually, like, turned on the stream when something really weird is happening. Because you don't see this type of game anywhere else, like... Where would players agree to play 8 FFA Ox? <laughs> Nobody's gonna do that. So, yeah. 
Nobody has, has taken middle. I could try to go for this. Thank you for the follow. Dolani, welcome, welcome. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Um, Yeah, the, the bug is still in the game. I can't see uh, which, like, the tiles which are getting scouted. But, still have the omniscient, omniscient view. I'm seeing everything. Everything. But yeah, two players already going for the dwarves here. ASD goes for the dwarves, Malevolent goes for the dwarves. Immediately. And I think this is this is a great idea, especially considering that it's um, it's so nearby, even though it has iron, like stone dwarves would be better, but still dwarves are great, iron is great because you need lots of iron to forge yourself. Hire your Torfin or your Relic, right? You need lots and lots of iron for that. Only problem I could see, ASD does not have that much space. So he could get himself blocked in if he doesn't colonize fast enough. Right? If, uh, for example, if Poplio takes this, this Foxborrow <clears throat> and if um, Benevolent takes the Circle of Stones, he's basically stuck on his five tiles. And that's it. And that's not, that's not gonna cut it. So he runs the risk of actually like soft losing this game if he's not fast enough with this. So he has to, he has to clear this very fast. Um, meanwhile, Malevich, uh, Malevich, Malevich, sorry, Malevich and Seth don't have this type of uh, problem, right? They have so many tiles in the back. They have so many things they can colonize. And um, yeah. ASD is kind of between a rock and a hard place. Because he's between Poplio and Manevolent. Uh, I have to come up with some some other names. Manevolent and Malevich. Okay. This is not gonna be difficult at all, right? Is he trying to clear these six foxes with his warrior? He's mad. What? Okay, I think he gave up. Because this would take you so long. Like, what? <coughs> oh no, wounded villager. Oh no. Svanhild. Why don't you die? Go die. Okay, he's still trying to, to clear this. I'd be honestly, I'd be impressed. I'd be so impressed. If he gets to clear this. Okay, no no hit there. The orange ox leads on fame. Yeah, he wants to have he wants to take this tile. He wants to take this tile so badly. And if he takes this tile, ASD is locked in. And that would be huge, like Dealing with such such a player, like ASD is one of the best players on the server. Um, if you kill this guy somehow, it's a huge win for everyone else involved. He's doing it. The madman is clearing six foxes with a wounded warrior. He still has four to go. Two of them full life. Oh, he's actually doing it. I can't. Oh my god. Torfa, you're so brave. Oh, oh my god, this is so close. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be so close. Not gonna lie, he already impressed me as it is. Absolutely great. Okay, three more foxes to go. He can do this. He can do this. Okay. Ah, oh, he's like two hits away. He's, he's two hits away. Two more foxes to go. He's actually doing it. He's actually doing it. Okay, I think I think this is a wrap. I think this is a wrap. I don't want to jinx it, but this is a wrap. Yeah, he got it. 
actually got it. One more fox to go. Just as it turns winter. Yeah, he needs two hits now because it's winter. The timing is impeccable. Oh my god, what a king. F like, what a maniac even. Will he go for the four foxes here next? There's no way. There's no way. ASD on this with three scouts. Poplio with one, if I see this correctly. He's doing it. Ah, amazing to come back home after 12 hour shift to watch some content. Happy to have you, Totem. Happy to have you. Like, enjoy the stream. Lay back. Have a good time. I see FFA Ox and I know it's gonna be good. I hate this clan. I don't even want to play Extreme Conquest with them. I mean, I hate, I hate Ox as well. The Legend of Tofa. And his tales of killing... 10, 10 foxes all by himself. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. Oh, this is so hard. It's so hard. How can he do it like this? Oh, no, he, he'll die. Yeah, he's, he's running around. <laughs> he's like... Oh, no. Okay, two more hits. He's two hits away. Can he do it? I don't believe. I don't believe, but... Oh, this is so close. This is so close. I'm basically only watching watching this guy tile dance with Tofa. <laughs> oh, but he got another hit out. Got another hit in. Oh my god, he got another hit in. He's doing it, the madman. The madman. Oh my god, <laughs> he's doing it. Imagine if a fox spawns now. If a fox spawns now, it's like all for naught. Okay, he's starving a little bit now at this point. We see seven dwarves on one dwarf tile. Horizon is like sad smiley face because he's on the other side of the map. But at least... Oh, oh no, Tofa! No! Yep. You will be remembered. The king is dead. King dead. Yeah, the, the foxes just they they knew they couldn't handle Tofa and they just sent a fox to kill him. Otherwise they wouldn't have stood a chance. ASD will be the first to befriend the dwarves here. King under the mountain. By the way, what is that? Oh, in case this tile gets attacked. Oh, that's a big brain play. That's a big brain play. He will be av uh, avenged eventually. That I'm sure of. Well, I uh, gotta stop the slouching, honestly. Taking notes right now, I don't know how to be like that. Uh, this was a great highlight of, of tile dancing. Okay. okay, so Sapphire, city building, everything. Let's take a look at the lore. Oh. Mining efficiency, even. Okay, so it's either up into 
Bottom? Wait, who's that player who went for carpentry? Oh my god. The red the red ox? Really go for carpentry. Oh my god. Red went for carpentry. What a maniac. And I'm pretty sure he'll go for Colo into City Builder later. Okay. That's that's pretty greedy. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, but I like it. I like it. Everybody else is just doing standard rock stuff, either going top into middle or top into bottom. Both. Very fine. And do both. Um Wait. Can I see the fame of everyone else again? Well. Emelovich has not started upgrading as of yet. He will get attacked by the elf. He has city built two of his tiles. The elf attack will set you back a little bit. Sadly. So. Red said in chat he doesn't know what he's doing. Okay. So red is an underdog, I would assume. Then I'm rooting for red. Wait, he, he brought out Torfin so early. Oh no. That will cost you so much lore in the long run. Yeah. Fireson having city built all the tiles except one. Going for trading instead of shipbuilding. Anybody else going for trading? Oh? No. Oh, so Fire Son is the only ox going for trading here. Here you go, Warcraft and farm for lore, true play. Honestly, that wouldn't be even that, that wouldn't be that bad even. I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that wouldn't be that bad. Uh, wolf attack coming. I feel like Malevich gets harassed a little bit here by everything. Poor Malevich. Early deep scout out of the Red Ox. Oh and, oh, and look at this. Look at this. ASD hearing this forest tile so fast. And I think he'll try to go on malev Malevolent, this orphan. And he does. How far away from yours is Malevolent? Okay, not that much. So. He will be able to contest this with the own Torfin. But yeah, ASD wants these Foxboros ASAP. So it's basically for Poplio to either deny this or at least to like deny one of the Foxboros here. Because if ASD can get out here, he's go with these two Foxboros, I think he's in a good spot. But he, he doesn't really want to start any beef like another player soon. Yeah, Malevolent will have his beef soon. About now. Okay, will he lose this L? Loses this L. And ASD is colonizing it. But there's no way ASD can can contest this now because this Torfin is still healthy. Wow, and now Malevolent is just colonizing it again. Doesn't care. Damn. And now both of them are kind of crippled because both of them spawned the Torfin so early that they don't 
get any lore from the Torfin's Torfin's throne. What do you mean? Wouldn't that be bad? Wouldn't be that bad. It's the best play on a non no clear map. I mean, yes, it's a good it's a good it's a nice strat, but if you can only clear that much, for example, if you're ASD and you're stuck here, if you don't have anything to clear with Warcraft, then what do you do? Constantly attack players? I don't know. I mean, Red is in a good position because he has some stuff to clear here. But basically it. And Red got middle. Red got middle as well. Excuse me. A little bit tired. Yeah, ASD slowly crawling himself out of his hole here. Playing this super well. That, honestly, that would be really bad. What gear do you think should be generally, you should generally bring out Torfin? I mean, if you're if you're going for ships, a late 801 is fine. Like bring out Torfin, October 801, get like one or two pieces of equipment. That's fine. The earlier the better for equipment and the later the better for lore. So right now, ASD started beef with both Malevolent and Hoplio. So both of these guys might look towards attacking ASD in the future. Hoplio is very weak right now, so he is could get taken out. Very fast here. He doesn't have any forging, I think. He doesn't have Orphan. Didn't city build his main or his coast tile here. Kind of struggling a little bit, which is which is fine, right? But it's very good for for ASD. Very very good for ASD. Because that means that's one threat. Right, but now he has I mean, three upgraded buildings, it's not too shabby. And he'll get the dwarves eventually as well. So, out of the eight players, three players have already befriended the dwarves, one player will eventually befriend them. And honestly, the top side is in a great position. Like, Malevich is in a great position. Why is he still not upgrading anything? Is he waiting for... Puppetry? No. Doesn't have the gold. Doesn't have the gold. No upgrades for Malevich. Everyone else is like heavily upgraded. So leading on fame right now, like huge lead on fame actually, is orange. Followed by black. Followed by blue. But after that, it's like a very close mix. Like, the only one where it really has a big fame lead right now is Orange. Often lore shouldn't be that rough if you're running a circle. Yeah, it shouldn't be that rough if you're running a circle or if you're running docks. If you're not running either... Hmm. I don't know. Thank you for the follow, Aga Even. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate it. Well, 
Benevolent, now clearing the Draugr Tomb, can get the Draugr Tomb later on. If you're orange, you kind of want to dig this, but it's not that easy to dig. He will try though, he will try. And Stomp passive ability is really nice, like Heimdall's Traveler Leggings is really, really nice. Does everybody have Heimdall's Traveler Leggings? Damn, everybody has that. I learned something today. Apparently everybody else, everybody has the same equipment. Same type of equipment. Oh, this, this one is getting taken, yeah. Hello, thanks for your tutorials on YouTube. As a beginner, I learned a lot with them. I appreciate you for watching my tutorials on YouTube, my man. I'll keep doing these, don't worry. And I'm glad you they were of any help and you were able to learn something. Happy to serve. I um I officially have like uh how's it called? an end date of doing this actually because three months from now i won't be able to do this like at all because i will have a full-time job so right now i'm only like part-time jobbing but i will need to start a full-time job if i want to like start start life for real start family and stuff so only three months of northgard left really I'll try to, to keep like uploading daily until then and I'll try to make as many guides as I can up until then but after that it's looking rough, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. But yeah, anyway, the tutorials will always be on my YouTube so. I'm wondering how, how much uh, Northgard will change from there on out. By the way, what happened? What happened there? Okay, orange hits 500 fame. Y'all. He's like scaling so hard. Oh my god, orange is a beast. I don't think you want to mess with orange. Orange has insane economy. Same goes for ASD. ASD has insane economy as well. Still going to stream? Yes, I'm still going to stream, but I... I will like upload one or two videos max in, in a week and not seven. So I will still keep doing what I'm doing, but like, I don't know, one or two streams in a week maximum. Most likely gonna be one, one stream weekly. Let's see, I, I don't know, but just to plan. I'll try my best, obviously. And obviously I'll try to not full quit, but it's looking rough. Like if I if I keep keep my, my full-time job in the school and I'll still coach chess at the side because I don't want to drop my students. And I don't really have much time left. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, I'll cross that bridge where, where, when you get to it. Exactly, exactly. Just that was just said to give you guys a heads up because I want to be fully transparent. First month full time, other verse, but it keeps getting easier to do something else sometimes. Okay, I, I mean, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared, <laughs> but let's see. Let's see how it goes. Right. I mean, I'll have to. I have to cross that bridge eventually. Right. I can't keep getting away with only working part-time and streaming on YouTube, so... Not that big of a deal. By the way, ASD is scouting Blue here. And Blue 
is kinda not ready. I mean, he could convert five, okay, four warriors. Four charging warriors right now. And ASD is converting. And it's at least going to be nine. He's forging himself, I suppose. Yep, he's forging himself right now. It is the ferocious charge forge, so the warriors will be even stronger. And I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but I think Poplio will drop here. Yeah, that's so much damage onto the Torfin. And that's one dead blue ox. But let's see. Maybe he can put up some kind of fight. Honestly, he does have the resources to convert more. He just doesn't, doesn't have the camps. He could, like, build another camp on his main, but he doesn't do that. He built another one there in the back, so he could convert one more warrior. Yeah, he has five. Five against nine is... Impossible though. Five against nine is just impossible. <clears throat> but I hope the best for you. Everything's gonna be alright. That's very kind, Ravo. That's super kind. Really appreciate you for, for saying that, for writing that in chat. But well, anyway, ASD is scouting everything up now, doesn't enter the main yet. His warriors are very strong as well, it's 10 plus 8 with upgraded camps. And honestly, having this upgraded farm, a colonizing like this, ASD is in a huge position here. That's what happens if you don't take out a good player early. And he's entering the main, killing the Torfin immediately. Killing everything. He has not lost a single unit here. And it's sad to see uh, see Poplio drop out so early, but that's GG. And blue will die here. And even worse, ASD will take over all his tiles. So it's his farm now. So Seth is kind of locked in. Between Fireson and the Red Ox. My guess would be that the Red Ox might get targeted by green here in the future. For closing closing in green also not getting this stone is very bad for green here but yeah ghost event coming out and my guess would be that ASD is looking forward to killing purple here next for some reason Purple's economy is not looking too hard. He is 30 minus 6. Why is Purple's economy so bad? What? Okay, at least he's plus 1 food right now, but there is 10 warband at your footstep. ASD is entering defense tower here. And he will... Smash that defense tower in the ground. I'm not very good at Ox. Can you tell? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I can tell a little bit. <laughs> the best Ox tip is not to play Ox. I concur. I concur. Well, uh, what can Manevolent do here? Four against nine. Does ASD have 
Far Cry. Oh, nice, nice micro by Malevolent. He has Unstoppable. Oh, don't lose your Torfin. And he killed two boyers while only having four. That's pretty strong, honestly. I think ASD is kind of like testing the waters. Oh, and he's destroying the upgraded Hunter's Lodge. Orange and purple, uh, orange and black are going on purple here. Teaming up on uh, the weak enemy. Nice micro by Malevolent, but he's losing the Torfin nevertheless. Killing ASD Tor ASD's Torfin. Very well done by the purple ox here. Yeah, but he gets teamed on and if you get teamed on in this kind of FA format, if you're playing the same clan, it's really bad for you. I think the reason why, why orange is looking <laughs> to kill purple here is because purple has colonized this ancient battleground with the ancestral equipment there and orange wants that. Orange just wants that. But yeah, ASD colonizing an upgraded longship dock as well as other war camps. Orange gets another tile out of purple. And this clumped up ox stuff here at the top is just chilling. But yeah, I mean, orange is obviously, orange is looking. Very scary. Very scary. Doesn't have Warcraft as of yet, but he's farming middle nevertheless. Anybody have Warcraft? Nope. 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 Oh, I'd love to see Warcraft here out of the Oxus. I wonder, I wonder why nobody has picked Warcraft as of yet. Honestly surprising, considering that there's so much to clear. So many Kobolds here. Maybe you can even kill Giants, because nobody has, try, has tried to befriend the Giants. For some reason, Malevolent is befriending the Rokov. Okay. Oh, it's another trading ox. Losing Torfin for lore. The five head play. Yeah, now another scout coming out of ASD. Will scout the main. It's looking rough for the purple fanbase here. Not gonna lie. 12 to 20... Population is bad as well. I like how Poirson is bordering three different people. He's bordering yellow, red and green. But none of them are converting for whatever reason. But yeah, red, red, and, red and orange are... They have so much gold. They're banking so much. If somehow red and and orange clash, it's gonna be a hell of a battle. And and red is like staying on his his tiles. Like he doesn't even have that many tiles, and he's kind of tile blocked because he only has nine available warband. He doesn't have his warriors forged. I think he forges his warriors right now. And he really wants to have more camps in order to hurt more. But yeah, the, the ones who are in the big lead right now obviously are orange and black. Pinching the poor purple from both sides. So... I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay, red is scouting orange now. Orange is going on the offensive. Going on red here. 
Red Sea that pulls back immediately. I don't know if Orange realizes that Red has so much stuff still, so many resources. So, wait, what is this Torfin doing? Um, okay, that, that's one way of almost losing Torfin. I mean, he has the gold, he has the resources to stop the docks, convert warriors, well, but at this point it might be late already. Might be late already. This this tile will get decolonized. This Torfin is almost dead, and even though he has so much gold, he needs to convert this. He has to convert this now, otherwise he will die. Converting. And for some reason he's fighting. If Torfin dies immediately. I don't know why he went in there. Big question mark. And yeah, what can I say? Red is, um, looks pretty dead. He still has tons of gold. But oh my god, this hurts. So much gold. I guess like okay, and the the micro is just way better out of orange. Orange after like killing all the red units doesn't lose anything and. Red is down. Red is down. And I don't even think that Orange has. Orange does not have Warcraft, sad. Well. Seth is now going on red as well. I, I don't think he she realizes that Red is dead anyway. But if I can say something really don't want to fight orange right now he has 1500 coins left just killed a strong red ox who had so much coins like so so much gold as well so many coins as well very hard very hard game I don't want to be purple here, poor purple. Yeah, and purple gets raided by black once again. I think I missed the main fight. Might have missed the main fight. Death. We'll go on Firestone next, I believe. Thirty-one population to twenty-one population. I I think green is just gonna smash brown here. Okay, so strong contenders for winning this right now are green, orange, and obviously black. I wouldn't sleep on, on yellow as well, but yellow does not have that much gold. And he not, but he didn't even start converting yet. And if you're Seth, I mean, kill the Jotnar, no? Kill the Jotnar. Maybe even get like Warcraft. Okay, she's very far away from Warcraft. But... The fame plus the mill XP from killing the Jotnar is great. Always worth it. Yeah, um... Benevolent... Kinda dying right now. Two against three. And the two warriors are stronger, but... Ah, oh, The micro. Yeah, three against two was not, not winnable. In the end, ASD is able to take down both of his neighbors. Benevolent going down. 
as we see orange going on black and green going on brown brown is converting as well he has eight so it's eight against 12. green is winning this brown has to be very careful oh my god and torfin going down relic coming out of green green has wiped brown neat and clear brown is absolutely dead will we convert again but that's so much green army left it's 10 plus 13.5 warriors 10 plus 11.5 warriors for orange and huge fight here black against orange and black was able to kill this torfin orange killing the other torfin orange getting wiped by black and now even though orange has necessary gold he does not have the population so you don't really want to convert everything right now. Nice dancing here by Feuerson. Dancing with the warriors. As well as the villagers. Buying time. <clears throat> Meanwhile, ASD chasing deep into the orange territory. Oh, this will be a this will be a nice, nice game. I can already tell. Oh my god, okay, so who's gonna win this between between orange and black, really? Black is taking uh, tiles left and right, though, so this circle of stones will be colonized. Oh, that was, I think... Okay, I, I thought that maybe ASD was too deep here, but I stand corrected. able to kill so many warriors the dwarves are throwing their axes the angry dwarves are throwing their axes at asd even though they are friends asd kind of betrayed them what a betrayal death is now on Firesun's main Firesun trying his best to dance it out by as much time for his fellow afa ffa players but in the end it's not gonna be enough he will drop out also Seth is kind of starving but she just bought resources from the marketplace and now ASD will lose some tiles of his own losing this first will he lose this first doesn't. Tile is saved. Both of them very low on pop now. Both ASD and Rotum Jar are super crippled. Death now retreating with her army. I guess, I mean if you're if you're Oxier gotta kill the giant, no? Don't you have does she have 3,000 military XP already? She doesn't. Okay, but she's close. She's close. I mean, we don't really need the giant, to be honest. Kill, kill kobolds and stuff. Okay, now, now she's going for the giants. Torfin just face tanking. Careful not to lose your Torfin here. Yeah, and she unlocks the battleground and now the, the warriors are... Very strong, losing one warrior in the process. Orange is now going on. Black. Honestly, I have... Oh, oh, okay, okay. O Orange? Orange with the jukes? He's super deep here, he should have a malice. Okay, 5% is not that much. 
Oh, and he, ta he, he takes down one warrior out of ASD. Who was converted on 10. Oh no. But I mean, Orange has more. Orange loses this warrior, I think. Two warriors coming from the back, these sailors. Backstabbing that. I think Orange loses this. And even if you don't lose this, you, you lose so much. You fight this. No, Orange loses this. Orange has to leave. More, more backup coming though, maybe. Huge fight. Oh, this is gonna be a wipe. ASD gets wiped again. Gets baited into, into taking this bad fight. Oh my god. And now, yellow is backstabbing orange. And the only ineffector from all of this is the green ox who's just... He got chilling. So... The strong... Four years scaling, untouched yellow ox has finally launched his attack. And he went on orange. And orange sees that and is like, oh damn, I mean, I have to go back at this point. I have to go back. And orange is one of the oxes who has not befriended the dwarves. Meaning, where is orange's iron? Can he get Torfin back? And the answer is, nope. Can't. Can't, can't get Torfin back. So, best play here is just... Laying on your back, saying, okay, I mean, I will lose the tiles. I, I know I'm leading in fame. I'm looking strong. I don't want to contest this. Look at me. I'm weak. And maybe yellow will not go as deep. The other possibility is to just fight it out like real man. And I think yellow is fine with only taking this tile. But no! Green! Backstabbing yellow! And yellow has to go back. Green saving orange. And yellow goes back to pay this tile. Wait, like... Northgard is so... So dumb sometimes, especially FFA. So, green is going back, yellow is super pissed. Not giving chase though, not giving chase, not taking any chances. I think it would have been a close fight, I think yellow would have won that. To be honest. Warriors are way too strong. Let's see how much, how much military XP does yellow have. Okay, yellow does not have 3000 military XP, everyone else has 3000. And meanwhile, orange is going on black again. What's that? Elves on black. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, that's super bad for ASD. Just doesn't have doesn't have the the population. Gets a double elf on his tile, which certainly doesn't help on recovering. He loses the forest tile. And yeah, Orange is like, yeah, okay, I mean, it's just a prank, bro. I have to defend because Yellow is taking my tiles. Yeah. Somebody has to take a risk eventually. So, 16 against 14 plus Torfin and Relic. Yeah, yellow wins that. What can I say? 
Yellow wins that. He just needs to find a, a, a great, a good angle. Orphan will enter. Huge fight. But yeah, Torfin and the crew will just destroy Orange here. And Orange on his 5 pop, I think with this, Orange is dead. If you're green, you realize that Orange is so weak because Orange does not have Torfin or won't get Torfin back. I think you have to go on yellow here. Or do you guys think that green is stronger than yellow anyway? I'm not so sure about that. I mean, if you want yellow to kill orange, you have to wait. I realize that. But is it the best play? It's gonna be a close fight against yellow. And I mean it doesn't it doesn't really it doesn't really matter if you go on yellow now or later. Okay, yellow fighting orange again. There's no way orange can do anything here. Very sad. Orange basically like fought against black and yellow. And in the process of fighting black lost his lost his torfin and now ASD is the only one ben like benefiting from all of this. Yeah, orange dropping out makes sense. Think. Nobody has taken Warcraft. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Now, um, now yellow has taken Warcraft. Yeah, okay. yellow is a threat. Yellow is the threat. You see more convert coming out of green. Sixteen out of green. Yellow will convert eighteen. Yellow will be stronger. He needs more gold. He needs more gold. He doesn't have the gold to convert eighteen, but yellow will eventually go up to eighteen, so yellow will have more than green. Plus it's gonna be winter, and in winter, since both oxes don't have access to fur, it's gonna be in favor of green. Yeah, I mean, green will take this tile, there's no way yellow can enter this. How much can AST scale in the back, and how much does green and yellow lose if they fight it out? Huge fight! For whatever reason. I don't know why yellow took this. Why did yellow take this? Ye yellow just dies. What a fight to take out of nowhere. Green though, green lost his uh, green lost her her dwarfin. I I'm not sure if she has iron left to re recruit her dwarfin. And she needs to take this tile, not this tile. Standing on the wrong tile right now. She could even go as far as just go on the first circle of yellow. But maybe she doesn't know that yellow does not have resources left. And she's going back? I mean, now or never. You'll never be able to kill, kill yellow. You're not killing him here. Yeah, not having fur heavily favors the defender. Exactly. It's minus 10% malice against minus 30% of malice. Malevich's longship dot got destroyed by the Kraken. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, but green does not have Torfin. ASD does have Torfin because because he has unlimited iron. 
the yellow somehow like entering the tile, killing a warrior. I don't know how he did that. That might have been an overconvert out of green. I am not sure why the green warriors are standing there. Okay. <laughs> he realizes that. He has Warcraft as well. Malevich calls the DG. And now it's between Malevich and Seth. And what can I say? If you're Seth, I think deal as much damage as you can with all your warriors. Force ASD to convert because he doesn't have uh, doesn't have that many th that much coins and that many gold that that much uh, gold and that many coins. Excuse me. Um, and then maybe like fake him out, go back. Thank you for the follow. Open the void. Welcome on Twitch as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Twitch as well. Hi. <laughs> you found me. Funny question. Going for middle could be a win condition. Nah, I think if you're if you're green, you'd rather go for fame win after that. But I mean, honestly, just kill as much stuff as you can with your warriors. Try to deal as much damage as you can to ASD, and you'll be fine. You 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 will need Torfin somehow. You'll need Torfin back somehow. I don't know how you can get Torfin back, honestly. Yeah, Seth, co Seth could go for Fame Win and force ASD to come, but she would need a lot of a lot of food for that. Because you only get like fame and lore by clearing stuff. You don't get any any food. And ASD is now scaling. He has he's plus twenty seven coins. And Seth has to get get iron somewhere. I mean, taking this, taking this, taking this. Okay, ASD is digging with his Torfin now. I mean, let's be real. Wait, does she have? He do she doesn't have Altar. Altar would be so much value. Altar would be so much value. Altar would be a game ender. But... Yeah, you're kinda eco dead because you have 13 convert. <clears throat> ASD is catching up on population too. I think ASD has an, has an easier time fame winning. He has four tiles away. He'll get another 50 fame for killing Orange. Another 50 for killing Cobalt. Fame will not be a problem. ASD just needs Alter and tiles. And ASD is mining iron right now. Seth has nothing left to mine. Is she trading the dwarves, by the way? Is she trading the dwarves? Can I, can I see somehow? I don't think she can. I think the event has ended, yeah. I think ASD is winning this. Funny, because Orange was about to kill ASD. But then Yellow came and killed Orange and then Green came and killed Yellow, so in a way, Yellow saved ASD, died, and now ASD is in the position to win this game. Okay, Seth only three iron away from getting her Torfin back. Needs two more iron though. Two more iron, that's a lot. ASD is getting stronger because he's mining stone. Wait, was that mega stone deposit there and someone lost with that? 
Where? What do you mean? Okay. Some kobolds still alive. And Seth now scouting ASD, but now ASD does have the necessary coins. He has over 1000 coins. And you have a huge malice here. Yeah, Clo close to the max of malice. So ASD is forced to convert now. Which he will do. So he is converting now. He will be able to defend this. Scouts might be able to see this. Okay, she is completely going in the different direct direction. She doesn't know where, where he is. ASD will try to go around and will try to wipe this. Oh, this is so smart. Death will have to retreat or she dies here. Okay, she doesn't retreat. I think she is just dead here. And now she's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Ox Relic is huge. Torfin coming from the back. Oh, this is so sad. Don't, don't, don't click your Torfin there. Oh no. Oh no, what a disaster. What a disaster. You hate to see it. Imagine saving up your 15 iron and then just inting your Torfin like that. And she did it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well. Congratulations to ASD. Very, very well done. I didn't I didn't think. I didn't think that um it would end like this.